Toronto, Canada, the two-time NABA welterweight champion. 20 knockouts, four defeats. He's the fighting... Number one, scheduled for 12 in the welterweight division. Both these guys know disgrace, so those two names uh, as the guys that have stopped you. Uh, Danny Garcia, brilliant puncher. Good. He has that blazing fast speed. We all know that. Well, he has to find us. Uh, I don't know that Vargas has really landed anything yet. No, not yet. They're, they're both, they both really haven't. Uh, here he's in there tonight with, with a much more considerable challenge. And uh, as we... Good, uh, he's a good uh, body puncher, but he needs to start going a little more to the body. Trick that Amir Khan needed to propel himself uh, back into the picture. A guy who has is not necessarily any answer, and it's been all Amir Khan here in uh, round number one. 30 seconds to good job holding on there as uh, Vargas tries to mount some kind of attack. He is really limited, Vargas. All of the exciting fight action here from the arena in Birmingham, and uh, Khan unloading here and backs up Vargas. He needs to be careful, but I know he wants this. I want it for him, too. Another left to right, rocking well, uh, Vargas. He's beat. Khan continues the attack. His, Four his, straight left hands. His chin doesn't look like it's going to hold up. Picking his shots. Throws a three-punch combination and then hangs on uh, halfway through. That. Throws a right finally. Uh, he started to wonder if maybe something happened to Amir Khan's right hand. Uh, he's knocked out, but uh, he, he's backed off just a little bit on the attack. And uh, we'll see if uh, even though uh, we know him to be a game fighter. No, he's, yeah, he's a game fighter. He, he's just... I he might have wanted to jump on that advantage that he had after the knockdown. Oh, Vargas. Vargas is, uh, I don't think fast. He, got, he has popped both of his hands. Doesn't appear to have lost any of it either. Under him right now. He's talking to uh, Vargas uh, and uh, telling him he's ready to go. Let's. This is this is for their career. Oh, we were counting uh, Vargas out of this thing, and the knockdown took a lot out of him. Can never count him out, Jeff. Good combination there by Amir Khan. How much of an inspiration is that? Yeah, you've been uh, losing the first five and a half minutes of the fight. So, so you gotta, you got to accept it for what it is. Come on. Referee Terry O'Connor calling it a knockdown. Uh, He's back in control, but it ain't over for Vargas, that's for sure. It seems you know, to have uh, uh, angered Vargas. <laughs> uh, we'll get a better look at it after this round is over. This is what Amir needs to do, though. He needs to stay on the outside. A little bit after tasting the canvas himself here uh, in this fight. Uh, Vargas scores with a left hand. And uh, Vargas has no answer right now as we come towards the closing moments of... He's doing an okay job of cutting off the ring with Amir. He can do, do a little nice better. Body. But his resume also uh, contains the likes of uh, Danny Garcia and Errol Spence Jr. So he knows... The, you know, the most important part of boxing is to win. So he, he, he gets that, you know. Caused a knockdown in round number two. He also had uh, Vargas on the canvas in round two and in round three. This bout uh, for whoever ends up in the winner's circle. Uh, Amir Khan now uh, kind of... Down through a hook, so... Doesn't want that to happen to him. Very vulnerable to uh, right hand Amir Khan. Getting the better of these exchanges is Khan, but Vargas is not going away. No, no, no. Vargas looking for that overhand right. He keeps jabbing to the, jabbing to the stomach, jabbing to the stomach. Both guys have been on the canvas two times for Vargas uh, and uh, once for Khan in a shock. He's having a uh, great impact with that left hand uh, all throughout the fight. Uh, he's showing the hand speed. He's showing. That's what Amir needs to do. Keep him outside with his left hand. Control him. Control him with that left. Red, uh, Khan hasn't been hit that much, just that one shot. It really a huge difference. All kinds of trouble. Look, look at his speed, wow. We'll see if O'Connor is inclined to stop it. Vargas, this victory, he's already scored a couple of knockdowns. Vargas takes another uh, heavy piece of dominating here in uh, round number five. Oy. Another big shot by Amir oh, Khan. Got to keep fighting. That might be a little hometown there as uh, Khan uh, really scored one. Uh, at the same time, uh, not afraid to let go. Really dominating this round number Good five. Good defense. Good defense. And Amir Courage coming forward and uh, unfortunately for him continues to catch punches to the face. And you're thinking uh, maybe exit visa soon for Vargas if he continues to take this kind of a pummel. Head push down and then getting hit. Excellent showcase so far by Amir. Good body. He's been excellent. He, 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 can't, he can't sit in the corner like this, take body shots from Vargas. Doesn't matter if Vargas. 20 seconds off there in the corner against the ropes. Moves him out to the center of the ring, gets him. Well, right now, he's still, he, you know, he's active this round. Halfway through round number six. Left in the tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Vargas, though, well. Hey, just how Amir does. And we saw an earlier fight uh, with Wellborn and uh, Langford. Uh, come. That's exactly what he's doing. He's controlling Good the pace right of the hand fight. There too. I'm sure uh, Vargas say uh, shakes it off. But uh, Amir looks confident in his skill right now. Looks confident even with Vargas's power. Uh, an outcome in his favor. He needs to. He needs to be a little less patient. And just go. When they each exchange knockdowns. Round two. Uh, I made it a nine-nine round. Uh, Goosen's advice. Good. 
Good effective body good, shots. Good, good effective body shots. Good effect, effective punches. Because he's getting hit at the same time he's he's punching. Yeah, maybe get too brave here and allowing Vargas to get. Good body shots by Conor. Back with Joe Goosen in his corner. Uh, Goosen, I thought, has uh, been brilliant in his advice to Amir. Two good shots to the body, followed by two upstairs. Keeping him active, you know. Uh, pace of this fight slowing just a little bit. Khan still throwing the more effective blows and throwing the more enough of an attack to win this fight. That would be the question if he can't do it just by throwing one bomb. Okay, uh, round number eight, Kel Brook. Uh, I always love the way uh, boxers uh, manage to promote themselves into the fight. Doing a nice job of it so far as we get into round number eight of the scheduled 12 rounder. It's set by two good technicians in there. And uh, while Vargas doesn't seem to have the technique of Amir Khan, Amir Khan has uh, demonstrated um, a lot of fortitude here uh, after peeling himself off. Hand thrown at him, though, and that, that might be a little suspect for him, but he's getting out the way. I just trying to find his spots, but he's not throwing nearly as many punches yeah but he's moving his feet he's not standing still has not pressed the action as much as he has in the previous seven here in uh, round number eight Khan goes to the body with a couple of left hands uh, both of those fall short as well so some of the row in cut off oh, the ring Khan counter counters beautifully as he backs up against the ropes and spins out of them at different times uh, during the course of this fight this is round nine scheduled 12 rounder he's back on the welterweight map with a win over Samuel Vargas of Amir sitting down on his punches, you know, it leaves him there open to to get countered and hit. Good nice combination. combination. Every time he goes to the body, he has success, and uh, you would think uh, if he followed, did you do that right now? A game Vargas, as we mentioned, always in close fights. I, I don't think this one is close fight. What makes this fight close is that anything could happen. You know, any one of these guys could get dropped at any second of this ninth round, and perhaps uh, get into a position to score a spectacular knock. But for 12, welterweights uh, in action. Amir Khan. His second fight back after losing to uh, seems to be firmly in control. Khan definitely in the lead. Uh, Samuel Vargas is going to have to come up with something uh, if he's going to come out of here with a victory. With fans, though, he puts it all on the line for the fans. Hand speed uh, is still there, very much so. It's a good game plan by Vargas. He just he, he needed to do that from the er earlier rounds. And, uh, overwhelmingly biased, but uh, it does seem like Vargas is getting the worst end of the shake from the referee. He's uh, shown some signs of life here. In spite of the fact uh, you would have to say that, uh, but uh, Vargas now uh, still alive in this one, uh, and you never know. Puncher's chance as uh, Ash uh, on the horizon for Amir Khan. Uh, he's always been a money fighter. Good, but good lateral movement by him. I feel like Amir Khan is second win now. He's feeling comfortable. He's going to finish, finish clear. Ten seconds to go in uh, round number ten, and a very uh, not sure what the uh, warning is about here because uh, it, it nothing really happened. <laughs> like a clean round of going all the way back to round number two. Oh, and it looked like uh, Vargas right was finished. Good right hand, but hands are getting lower. Uh, you can see yeah, that. Uh, getting heavy. Yes, uh, gloves into these guys though. That's easy work for them. The Can't hard. write off the effort of Vargas though. <laughs> I mean, he just missed uh, as he uh, threw one to the chest uh, of Amir Khan. We'll see if he can slow him down. This is what he needs to do. You know, at the end of the day, Amir needs to he needs to focus on the, the fight after this. Because uh, and he wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. Arrow Spence. Uh, do you see that uh, in Amir Khan from what we're witnessing right now? So Amir is always going to be in there, and he has the talent to. He oh, Vargas uh, trying to do the very impressive uh, Amir Khan uh, throughout. I don't mean to diminish his performance at all, but uh, it's a little lightly, just how Vargas said. And I, I believe that he did. Here's the end of round 11. Still dangerous in round number 12. And Amir Khan trying oh, to find. Oh, gets off a terrific shot. He needs to be careful. Vargas selling oh, and punches. Shows a, a headbutt there. Yeah, head and Amir Khan. But Vargas has not been without his moments. No, but anything could happen. We know that. This uh, punch at the end uh, that Khan uh, took on the chin and, and managed to withstand. Go to the scorecards. Uh, now, a uh, minute and a half to go. Uh, Khan uh, still trying to. No, no, not at all. He just can't handle me or speed, speed right now. His speed's just going away. That's right hands. Trying to close out a guy that uh, should be a stepping stone for him. They're just not able to do that. Does look like he's ready to park the car in the garage and call it a night. Uh, Amir Khan is well on his way to a victory here in his second fight back off a two year layoff. He is parking the car. He's parking. decision. The fighting pride of Bolton, England.